Hello there my good friends of YouTube, uh, this is the other transformer which I did say I'd do uh, an autopsy on but unfortunately guys it would have been a nightmare with uh, constantly stopping and uh, touching my camera covered in mineral ore because this, everything was just completely and utterly coaxed in mineral ore so it would have been an absolute nightmare. Um, I don't have a tripod at the minute because my tripod's broken so I couldn't actually um, attach my phone to the tripod and do an autopsy as well so I really you know and truly sorry about that guys but anyway I've had this thing apart and uh, the only thing that's left in this now is the federal connectors which are just there the four there and uh, 25 26 litres of bloody oil inside well minus two litres because uh, when I pulled this thing up the brown plate which is there was sticking at the bottom and as I pulled it up it just caused a massive wave of mineral oil all over the floor Good job the wife wasn't in, because if she'd have seen me do this, she would have absolutely gone ballistic. Or would have just said, you better bloody clean that up. <laughs> but uh, I managed to clean it up. Uh, good job I had a load of rags and old clothes to uh, soak it all up. But anyway, I'll tell you what was in it. Four trans uh, ferrite transformers, flybacks as I always call them. And uh, four of these 75 kV transformers which run on a DC frequency which I shall show you just here guys as you can just see that there primary is 246 volts and secondary is 150 kV 100 kilowatts that is some serious power more than your house and uh, 125 kVA uh, at 15, 1 pH to 15 kilohertz DC uh, that is the phase hertz that f basically powers these things so it's an RGBT so I'm going to keep two of these and uh, power them up on an RGBT and keep those, definitely keeping those because I do like these transformers they do have uh, nice output well, let's just deal up four of them and uh, there was a load of diodes as well which are inside of here there was four of these to make up the voltage to uh, rectify it from a or rectify it to DC from the output from these because it will be an AC output and uh, it's quite quite uh, crazy actually the size of these transformers I mean a hundred kilowatts output is quite some power um, and there was uh, See this just here. Let's see if I can move this out of the way without getting mineral oil all over because I've just washed it up. Very nice transformers. Really are. Be careful I don't damage those. So yeah, there was this inside this arm which was connected to the side of this, which moved up. Um and it basically moved it from left to right which basically moved it from each phase output so it moved it like that so it was basically connected to two uh, I'd presume it because it was connected to two x-ray heads yeah it's a solid piece of brass on the top of that uh, no, that one's actually 220 volts, that is, at 50, 60 hertz. Yeah. Yeah. Very strange. So yeah, there's got some quite some bits out of there. The uh, the capacitors that was in there, the two of these, I'll show you the other side of it actually, what it says on the back. Just dry my hands on a bit of a rag. But yeah, you can just see that there, look. Hold on. See, that's just 37.5 kV. 2 times 10 and F, so... Yeah, so that's about right, that is. Yeah, 2 times. So... So, yeah, the, these are actually made, these have been made up and put into project boxes. As you can see, the plates in there which made, those packed, packed these out. 
So I've just chucked everything in here for now, but I've got to sort of what I'm chucking, what I'm throwing away and what I'm keeping. But these are very strange. Look at this. See, I think this was d taken and, and put down as decommissioned because, or whatever you want to call it, uh, repaired, um, uh, taken out and um, a new one put in because there was actually a wire broken off this, which is just there, look, you see that? So that had actually snapped, not off there, but off the other side of here. See, there's nothing there, look. It actually snapped off that, which is quite a shame. But I mean, it could be still used because you could just connect it to the side up to there and just leave that one out. But uh, yeah, they actually made that foil wrapped each one, tightly packed together, and put them in series, and then uh, just packed them out in this project box and put the lid down and job done. So, quite a lot of bits to it. <laughs> and some nice uh, bits of chopping board, I can't remember what you call this now. But uh, yeah, some nice insulators, very nice indeed, four of those. And uh, 24 litres of oil left in there, which I'm going to have to keep these covered up because I mean it's room temperature at the minute so it's quite warm in here. So. I mean, once this goes into my shed, I'm left to uh, dry this completely and put some tape over them, just to stop any uh, moisture getting into this oil. Because the, I mean, even though it's already submitted to uh, to our environment, it's not good. It uh, it'll have to be seriously vacuumed once I ever come to using the uh, oil in there or the container. But yeah, that's what's in it. I thought I'd share that with you guys. Uh, got nothing else really to say. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you. Yeah, I bet some other, I bet some of you disappeared before I could show you. 470 ohm resistors, which would have limited the current. Very nice. Th two of those. So, thanks for watching, guys. Look after yourselves and be safe. And uh, we'll speak again. Bye.